One of the biggest feature points of Isotope's Ozone is the mastering assistant, the ability to use an AI algorithm to listen to the loudest part of your track and then get all of the plugins inside Ozone set up and pre-configured as a great starting point. This has been drastically improved in Ozone 11. All right, so when we open up Ozone 11, by default, we're on the advanced page. And to switch over to the assistant, we click on this little assistant icon up here. And what it's gonna do is ask for us to start playing the loudest part of our mix, which I've looped around. So we're gonna play that in, and then Ozone's gonna do all the configuration to set up. So right from the offset here, what I wanna do is just A and B this so we can hear what's going on. And up here, we have this little icon and this will gain match everything that Ozone has done here. So when I play back now, it's gonna be a little bit quieter, but when I hit bypass, we're not gonna get a sudden jump up in level that makes the mastered version feel better and brighter. Right, it's done a pretty solid job. I think my kick gets a little bit lost in the Ozone version, and we can look to dial that in in a little second here. Now, one of the biggest things that's gonna change the overall profile here is the tonal balance and our targets here on the left-hand side, and we've got a whole set of genres. Now, it's selected pop for this, and I think that's pretty accurate. It's a pretty poppy DMB tune. However, we could absolutely try going for EDM, and we'll see that the curve will change, and it'll have to reprocess the information it's got based on the part of the track it's listened to. So we'll click that and there's been some subtle changes. And the mix is definitely different. Now to my ears, what it was doing with pop was a lot better. I much prefer that balance. So we can take this a step further and we've got custom and in here I've got Plastic World and Still Dre. So if we choose Plastic World, it's gonna to have to do a complete reconfigure. Now the issue with this is it's slamming this so loud. It's such a loud track in the reference part it's taken. What we would want to then maybe look at is taking this dynamics match way back. The more we push it up, it just becomes too much. And we could even look at dialing the maximizer back a bit here and getting that breadth back. The difference is phenomenal, isn't it? I don't even know if I still like me. Now, one thing to notice about the custom and the genre is when we go back to the genre, and if I choose pop, we have this new little slide over here that says vocal balance. And what this is actually doing is it's listening to my track and where the vocal sits in the mix. And then compared to its reference, where does the vocal sit in those mixes? And actually it's put it up a little bit in the mix and it's taking just the vocal. really bring it out but it just upped it just a little bit to help it pop out in the mix now I mentioned before I felt like it was taking the kick out a little bit well I've dialed that loudness back and I think we've got that back a lot more closer to where we would like it
and we can adjust the overall EQ balance as well. And we can push it so it goes closer to the curve. But for me, that's pushing the highs a bit too much. What I would maybe do here is actually just dial it back a little bit. And these are going to be really small adjustments. We can see exactly what the adjustments are by jumping over to advanced. I think we can bring the dynamic match up a bit more for the pop master. The width is really nice. We can disable any of these as we go. It's just really, it's spreading the real, real high end and it's doing it a nice way. Now clarity is what adds a lot of high end and lift up into the mix. If we slide it right up. We'll notice when we turn it off, that's doing a lot of the hard work. Helps bring a lot more attention to the vocal on the top end. Again, I've slid that too far there, and something around here seems quite nice. Let's see what the stabilizer's doing. we're pretty close there. Now there's one other thing we can do if we wanted to do two separate masters for loudness at the moment we've got output level and full scale. If we do streaming it's going to dial back a lot and get us closer to that overall output level. It will also make sure it leaves 1 dB of headroom for the true peak. But we won't notice a loudness difference because we've got the game match on. In this instance full scale is going to be fine for us. the potential we could push the loudness even louder as well. Uh, it loses too much of the dynamic there for me and I think dialed back just a bit here. Catching those big hits is probably the nicest spot. So there's our master. Let's very simply A, B it and see where we're at. updates to the Ozone 11 Mastering Assistant are frankly phenomenal. If you want to hear a direct comparison of this versus 10 and how much of a difference there really is, watch this video next because I do that comparison in there. Look forward to seeing you in that one. Take care.